so i will type vpc right here and then i'll open a new tab let's create our vpc so now if you are here just do create vpc okay and uh, make sure that this is checked vpc and more okay and then let us give it a name this is an auto generated name but we can give it a name that we want so i'm going to do a copy and paste of the name that i want to give it when i put this name right here see what is going on right here okay this is being updated you can see right now the name is project that's why you see project dash vpc okay so now i'm going to change the name to redfin underscore emr you can see the name change to redfin underscore emr dash vpc okay now let us go down and then our availability zone let us leave it as two our public number of public subnets let us select two okay just click that if you click it's going to turn to gray you gray as you can see and then our number of private subnets let us put it to zero okay and let us leave every other thing the way it is our vpc endpoints to be s3 gateway you can see as we did that all these got updated our subnets we have two subnets right and then we have this route table you know or it's automatically created a route table for us and then we have our network connections right here all those are updated okay now the next thing you just need to do is to click leave every other thing and just do create vpc you can see what is going on right now it already it already created the vpc for us right and remember the name we gave to our vpc redfin underscore emr okay very good guys very good guys i hope you guys are getting this okay